the first thing is Chloe as Nimona is just the most the most amazing thing to to hear and to behold. It's it's a wonderful thing. I'm curious for you when you first heard her do this performance. What did what did you think? And and did she surprise you as Nimona? I, yeah, like I think with Nimona more than anyone else, it's like she represents a certain like internal voice in my head that's really hard to give a voice to. Cause like I'm like when the casting process was going on, they're like, who would you cast? And I'm like, this one is one where I really like, I'm too close to this. Y'all have to like take this away. Um, because she is like, she's unpredictable. Uh, and that also means that like she's unpredictable to me as well. So yeah, there's like, that's that's her. That's what it's about. You need to like have someone who can do so many things for this character because she's like almost every line comes from like a different facet of herself. She's like hyper and then she's like, you know, funny. And then she's like moody and then she's angry. And it's like every single line she changes so quickly in all of the ways possible. Um, and Chloe just like absolutely nailed it you just never know where she's going to go next. And like to see, like to hear this voice outside of my own head um, and then to be surprised by that voice uh, is an incredibly cool thing. Yeah, she's a, my girl is just out there. She's just out there. Like, and that's Chloe and she's she brought her to life. It's amazing. She's hilarious. She's ferocious. She brings everything to the All world. Everything. It's she's amazing. Everything. Uh, for directors, Nick and Troy, did you have any conversations with them when you started out about how they were going to tackle anything or how did they approach you, I guess, at the, in the beginning? I, um, like, our process together, like, I really, really, I am so, like, grateful to them and so excited that they, like, really, like, reached out and, like, brought me into this process in this way that, like, uh, you know, is not a guarantee when you're the creator of the source material. Um, and then to like feel like a part of that crew that we were all making this together was just really cool. It, and it's still cool that I'm here with them and we get to celebrate together. It's like, I, again, just not a guarantee as the uh, as the creator of the source material. Um, and they just, yeah, they reached out. We like, I immediately felt so understood and listened to and uh and I just really I just really appreciated that and I sent them all my notes or even like my little like annoying rants about like what I think that should be done here and like they always um you know it was always a conversation with them it was always something that was always growing and changing as a result of everyone who's part of that conversation and I just admire the hell out of them they're so great they're so great like I feel so lucky um and just that like we click the way we do and it's like they they definitely like I knew that the story was in good hands that's amazing what did you think the first time you saw some footage from the film what was your first impression and how did it make you feel it is so surreal it is so incredibly surreal like I'm back in New York right now and this is where I came when I was uh, 19 years old uh, and an agent had reached out to represent me and, and make Nimona the graphic novel that it ended up being. And I was just like, what am I doing here? Like, what is happening? Um, and to be like over 10 years later, to still be on this journey and being like, what is happening? <laughs> uh, but it's it's it is so cool. It's just this little seed of the idea that just kept growing. And it just continues to grow and it's about to take on a whole new form uh, and it'll be out there in the world. And uh, she's just developed such a life um, and just keeps growing all the time. It's incredible. It is incredible because uh, my daughter watched it with me two nights ago and she had to watch it again last night. Oh and my God. I have a feeling we're going to be watching it with the rest of my family the second we can. So like, so wonderful. You know, the last oh, thing I gotta so ask loud. is <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask about Crispy the Dragon <laughs> and your cameo there because I I love it so much. Can you talk I, about um, how that happened? 
Uh, yeah, a lot of my dynamic with Nick and Troy is us just like roasting each other constantly. And so that is an example of that. I was also, they were like, oh, we're just going to pick up some like, you know, crowd walla stuff. I did a little record with them and I did not know that I was going to be the voice of Quispy the Dragon. It was like, it, it's like going back, I was like, y'all, I think the dragon's too cute. Like, I really want the dragon to be like cooler looking. Uh, Cause, and so they turned the dragon into the cereal mascot to sort of like explain why she's so adorable. Um, but it was always like this thing. I was just like, what, what about the dragon? And so like, that was like, sort of a, like uh, literally making me the dragon. Um, I'm like, all right, y'all great. <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> I, I think it's very funny. <laughs> it is fantastic. Well, thank you so much for the time. I really hope, I don't know if this is in the cards ever, but I really hope we're going to get a sequel at some point because I feel I like we need more Nimona. I think at this point, I'm just like, I I, I did like sit down uh, with Troy the other night and we just like brainstormed for like three hours about like what the sequel might look like. We did not mean to do this. It just happened. So, I mean, these characters have taken on a life of their own. Wherever they go next, I'm just like, I'm, I, I want to see it. I want to see more. It's amazing. Thank you it's so cool. much for the yeah. time. Yeah, it's great to see you again. You too. Have a great day. 